Folks, be careful in these last days. Many false prophets will rise up and tell you lies. Many false prophets are going to lie, rise up in these last days and tell you that you can have your best life now. That you're going to receive all this money back if you will give them money to them. That you're going to receive a hundredfold back in this life. No. When Jesus Christ came to this earth, he didn't even have a, he didn't even have a place to lay his head, folks. What happened to all the, the apostles? All the apostles were, were crucified. They were, their heads were chopped off. Don't believe the lie, folks. You must turn from your sin. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. The prosperity gospel will not save you. Some of these people, like this man in there who's going to preach you tonight, he's going to tell you to give you all his money. Give your money to him. And you're going to receive wealth in this time. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Only Jesus Christ can save you. But repent and turn from all your sin. And put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. False prophets will rise up in these last days, folks. I'm here to warn you. I'm here to warn you and turn from your sin. Turn from all your willful sin, your adultery, your cursing, your drugs, your homosexuality, and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Watch out for these, these hairlings. They're not shepherds. They're hairlings. And put your faith in Jesus. Please, folks, I plead with you today. I plead with you today. Get into the Word of God. Don't follow these fake pastors and these false prophets. Get in the Word of God today. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. I pray for your souls today. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Trust in Jesus, folks. Trust in Jesus. Not man, but the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. Sir, don't fall for the lies in there. He's going to lie to you. He's going to tell you that you're going to have all this money in this lifetime if you give him lots of money. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. The Bible says those who desire to live God in this life will suffer persecution. You'll suffer persecution for Christ. You must take up your cross and, cross and follow after Jesus Christ. Not these false prophets who want you to give all their money. Turn today. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can save you. The Bible's clear, not everyone will say to me, Lord, Lord, shall I enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, depart from me, I never knew you, who you who practice lawlessness. Folks, sin is lawlessness, the Bible says. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 4 through 9, Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. And you know that he was manifested to take away their sins. And whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him. And he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Folks, don't believe these fake pastors. Don't believe these fake, fake prophets who will tell you you're going to be rich in this lifetime. You're not going to be rich in this lifetime when you come to Christ. You're going to lay your life down for Christ. You're going to die at the cross for Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can save you. A pastor can't save you. A false prophet can't save you. He's going to tell you to give as much money as you can. Get out your checkbook and write a big check for God. No, give your life to Christ. Turn from your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ today. He's the only one that can save you. Turn from your sin today and put your faith in Jesus Christ. You must be led by the Spirit of God, folks. Only the Spirit of God can lead you. The Bible says in Romans 8, 13 through 14, For if we live according to the flesh, we will die. But if by the Spirit you put into the deeds of the body, you will live. For as men who are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Turn today. 
Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Only He can save you today. The Bible says in Galatians 5, 24 through 25, and those who are Christ have crucified their flesh with their passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The Bible says in Romans 13 through 14, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill in this lust. Sir, don't believe this man's lies. Don't believe his lies that you're gonna be rich in this lifetime. When you die at the cross, when you die at the cross, you get risen to new birth. You put your faith and trust in Jesus. He's the only way. He's the only way, folks. Don't believe these false prophets in these last days who promise your wealth and prosperity. Only Jesus Christ came to save sinners. But you have to repent and turn from all your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. You can't get to heaven in your sins, folks. You can't get to heaven in your sins. You have to turn from all willful sin in your life and put your faith in Jesus. Turn today. He can save you today. Many false prophets will rise up in these last days and promise you wealth and riches in this life. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Jesus Christ never had a place to lay his head in this earth. He walked among us. He walked among us. He never sinned. And you must turn from your sin as well and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Turn today. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Your pastor can't save you. A false prophet can't save you. Only Jesus Christ came to save sinners. Get in your Bible today. Read the Bible for yourself, folks, and turn from your sin and put your faith in Jesus. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Not, not writing out a big bank account, not writing out a big check to send to someone. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. He's going to promise you a hundredfold in this life. He's going to say you're going to give a hundredfold in this life. That's not true. That's not true. You're not going to get more wealth. You're not going to get more wealth. The Bible says the godly will suffer persecution in this life. Are you living godly? Are you living a holy life? Are you practicing righteousness as he is righteous? Are you still sinning like the devil? Are you still living like the devil? Turn from your sin today. Turn from your sin today. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. I come out here to tell you the truth. I don't want any money from you. I don't want anything from you. I want you to be saved and go to heaven. But turn from all sin in your life. Turn from all willful sin in your life and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Don't believe this guy's lies, sir. Please turn and get in your Bible. Get in your Bible today.